You're listening to PJ and Friends on pjandfriends.com. Orlando, Florida. The views and opinions expressed on this show do not necessarily reflect those of the station, owners, management, and sponsors. If you find any content disagreeable, you may exercise your right to change the channel. And now, and, and now, now, on with the show. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Wednesday, uh, August 21st, 2013. You're on the RP Gen Friends broadcasting live from Orlando, Florida. Last week's show, <laughs> if you noticed, wasn't placed up on the web because someone forgot to <laughs> hit the button to record the audio on the uh, recording. We had video, so you could have done your own dialogue, but that just would not have been fun. We would make you do that. Um, unless it was very funny, and it, that wouldn't have been funny. Uh, let's see, we've got a lot going on today. Hey, if, if you're watching the news here in Orlando, apparently a cell tower in, in Sanford, Florida has caught fire and apparently endangering several businesses in the area. So watch out for falling skies. Um, all that text messaging. Yeah, you know, so, yeah, right? It's all your fault for text messaging and writing people and, and just, you know, communicating. Don't communicate with people. Um, we got a lot going on. Uh, you, uh, we have JB back. Uh, let me go yes. put your mug up there. And this is JB. He's a friend of ours. He's an improviser. He's a, you're a dog owner, right? Yeah, I own a dog. That's a, uh, makes do, you a good person. I if you were a cat person. Do lots of things. Um, but he, uh, uh, uh he's got, uh, I th- was afraid you weren't going to be here because you had a, a family, uh, thing come up and you're going up north to, to uh, uh, help out your family, which is cool. Yep. But uh, luckily, you're not leaving until later today. And, and uh, so he came over for lunch and said, hey, why don't I do the show? I said, sure. Um, so, uh, and if the dogs molest you, even more fun for the whole family. Exactly. Uh, you know, yesterday, it w- uh, and I've been kind of complaining because I, uh, I am, as Matt tells me, I am old. Okay. And, uh, uh, you know, my, my day starts at 630 in the morning. And then, you know, with the improv stuff, well, I'm doing a lot of workshops trying to better my artistic craft. And so I go to a lot of the workshops, which are late in the day. So by the time I, my day ends, I'm not getting home until midnight. And then pro- it takes about an hour to unwind. Do you want a microphone or you just want to eat and leave? Yeah, well, then they can't hear you, uh, which is good. And I was talking to Matt, who's off camera, who's usually a part of the show, but he is only when it's funny. So if it's not funny, he won't do the show. <laughs> um, and so, uh, uh, you know, so Monday I got up at 6.30, and I, I, I all, late day, and then Tuesday, we, in order to, to get be eligible for shows, you have to take X number of workshops, and then uh, hopefully you get a show or two if you're lucky. And then, um, uh, then if you're scheduled to perform, you're not leaving again until uh, 11 o'clock, 11.30, and then maybe home again at midnight. So it's been two days, wow. and uh, I am beat. I could easily be in bed and sleeping, but it, I, my days off are split up, so no matter what I do, I'm sort of tired the first day. It's not like you, you, know, you, you have your days off. If they're together, you get uh, you know, a day sort of kind of like to vegetate, and then, then you got a day to do something or, or what have you. I kind of got to do it all in one. And uh, uh, so it's kind of a challenge. So, so I'm, I'm really cranky today. I'm not happy. And then, of course, I fell. Um, uh, my fat butt. Um, I was uh, walking on the steps, and uh, um, it, was, it was honestly like, in all honesty, it was like the last three or four steps, and it was kind of like you, you, you missed a curb, a really high curb. But unfortunately, and I don't, it's not like I, I recovered. I fell. And I, I hurt my ankle. And uh, it's not so bad today. I got to say, the ice and the I, I did take ibuprofen last night. And I think because I was sleeping and it was elevated, it, it helped a great deal. Now as I sit, it, it hurts a little bit, but not as bad as it was yesterday. So thank God because I, I couldn't have done that. I, I, I don't do sick well. And Matt just doesn't care anymore. He's like, get, get up and get your own stuff. <laughs> so, um, so that's where we are. Um, you know, several performances going on this week. Um, uh, Matt's got a thing at Taste uh, with the, with the uh, stuff with people. Uh, so if you want to go and uh, view people that are stuffed with things, no, wait, puppets that are stuffed, wait, yeah, puppets that are stuffed with things, um, you want to go to taste and, uh, uh, check that out. That, it's wrong? Well, you know what, they can't hear you. In, 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 in the infinite words of Adam Sandler, uh, I have a microphone and you don't, so you are listening to every word I've got to say! Yep, that's how I am with karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> you do karaoke? Yep. 
I don't. I sing if I, I. Here's the thing. I know they all get mad at me when we do workshops and stuff. I, I'm not gonna like you know the people get in, in workshops and all that and they they really put themselves into it. But I'm like I'm not hurting myself <laughs> for a workshop. I'll do it on stage where there's an audience. Yeah, right? But these people throw themselves on the stage and so. I, I really I, I'm not afraid to sing. I don't mind singing, but I'm not doing it for just for the sake of singing. And and um, so they'll do workshops stuff like that. I'm not you know. So but when I get on stage, I have no problem doing it. You know. Uh, but I, I karaoke. I don't know about all that. They did that at the Christmas party at SAC, and I, I didn't quite get into that. Are you any good at singing? I'm, I'm decent. What 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 do you, what do you like when you I sing? I can I can belt out some good Roy Orbison. I can belt out. Uh, That's fantastic. Ask him to sing anything by share. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I could belt out um, Journey Faithfully. Well, that's a good song. I could rock the house with that that's one. That's a good one. Better than the new guy that's doing it. Yeah, right? Yeah, you know the new incarnation of Journey. <laughs> they got this guy that sounds just like uh, Steve Perry, but he doesn't sound like Steve Perry. If you listen to it, it's off. Is. It's just off. And um, it's it's like you're talking to some telemarketer in 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 India. It's just oh, the English is just not right. The diction is off, and and uh, and I know people love it because they're back, but it's not the same. Yeah. Um. But but what but, happened to Steve Perry? Did he quit? I he I, I don't. I honestly don't know. I don't know. I think I don't know if there was a falling out. I don't know if he gotten sick or something like that. Um, one two. Maybe one, his seventies mustache got to him. It could be. One, two. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, uh, and a lot of groups have done that. I think um, the next group that's talking about doing something like that is Queen. Oh, good. The main, the main singers, the main musicians, they were a hell of a musicians. They are great musicians. They're pompous asses, but they're great musicians. Uh, and, and when Freddie Mercury died, you know, so apparently they're they're getting ready to tour with some. I don't know all the details. I just know that there there there's a, there's a talk about them touring with somebody, and I sure hope it's not some guy like uh, you know, this this off of YouTube this, this Journey guy. Well, I, I think that's how you know. You, did you see the movie Rockstar? Mm. That was kind of cool. It, wasn't that wasn't that about? Uh, well, there is a movie. Yeah, Rockstar about Journey. Well, I know about that. And the singer and all this and the rise of fame and this that and the other thing. They made like a documentary. I didn't. Movie. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. But what you know, I, you know, I, I think that's how they found this guy. Uh, Journey found this guy was he apparently was a, well, you know, uh, did a lot of their songs on YouTube, and they thought he sounded so. And he does. He really does. He has a high amount of energy, but it's not the same. Yeah. Um, and I've seen groups do that a lot. I've seen groups where they'll switch out singers and they bring them out and they try to do the song and and they don't really they don't obviously they don't promote it because they realize they don't want to publicize the fact that. Uh, so they don't really tell you, and you get there, and wait, I just paid 80 bucks for this? And um, uh, uh, in the 80s, we're talking about I'm old now. In the 80s, I went to see uh, uh, Genesis. It was in uh, uh, Rupp Arena in uh, uh, Lexington, Kentucky. I owned one of those around your age. <coughs> what? A Rupp? Genesis. <laughs> you, owned, you owned a Genesis? How, yep. do you, how do you own a Genesis? Because it was made by Sega. <laughs> oh, you suck. Oh, God. You eat your sandwich. Um, so, um, here, let me change this so at least two of us can be seen. Um, there we go. I wish we had a producer. It would be so much easier. Oh, forget this stuff. Um, no, I went there. And, you know, music, uh, especially the uh, Genesis music, it's, it's real techno. Um, and it's the kind of thing that if you're not sitting dead center of the theater, it doesn't sound right. Really? I was way up in the nosebleed seats, and and it was when Land of Confusion came out, and it went tonight, 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 and all that. And they were really very, t very, you know. And so, um, if you weren't dead center, it, it, and I, I left, I walked out. I walked out, not wow. because if I didn't, I wouldn't have liked them anymore. I liked the songs, I liked the music, but it just, and it could have been also obviously I was way up in the, you know, but so all the echo, all the different the acoustics, and all that could have affected that. But I walked out. When I, the, I, and now I, I don't think I want to go see a concert. Um, um, I'm old, I guess. Um, I, I saw Rush many times. I saw uh, nice. Heart a few times. Uh, I saw I saw Wham. Um, did they wake you up before they go? And, uh, I saw the Monkees when they did a reunion. Oh, wow. Before, uh, uh, of course, not with Pete, with uh, De, uh, Michael Nesmith n didn't tour with them, but uh, before uh, uh, what was his name? Davy Jones, Jones passed away. 
I didn't know he lived here in Florida. Oh, wow. Dead monkey. Dead monkey. Okay, okay, he's shouting things, and I know you can't hear it, but it's okay. We don't. We, we just let him think that he's actually contributing. <laughs> um, you know, we give him a pen with no ink, and he thinks he's drawing. Um, anyway, so, you know, there we go. Uh, uh, there's a lot of new music out there, a lot of stuff out there, and... and I uh, we've been playing here on on the on the show. I've been trying to um, for the longest time. This equipment wasn't working very well. In other words, I couldn't get it stable. Now with the updates that we've done and some things, finger, fingers crossed. And of course, if this service that we're currently broadcasting on doesn't go a belly up like the other ones have, um, um, I've been able to relatively uh, uh, securely, you know, um, uh, reliably broadcast twenty four hours a day. So I have a, a, a stream of music that plays 24 hours. So now what I can do is I can actually try to get some sponsors and, and, and get some commercials up there. And, um, and basically it would be designed to get some money to get cards and stuff to give away. Um, you know, they, they, I, you don't have to share it, but if you want, you can. They'll eat chips. Okay. Um, but um, they're going to look at you like, wait a minute, if you want in this house, you're going to feed us. Um, but you don't have to. You can be evil. Yep. Um, I have dogs. You Do you? What kind of dog do you have? I have a peek a what the Pekingese hell? and a boodle. What the? Okay. Cute little thing. Is this a foo foo dog? Uh, would, yeah, it f- would it would it fit little. in your man purse? Yeah, it's small. It reminds me of an Ewok. It's actually named after an Ewok. Back in the day, Lucas made a cartoon called the Ewoks, and uh, that's where I had gotten her name from. Her name is Milani. So if you Google, sounds like, sounds like a Hawaiian name. Yeah, right. If you Google Milani with Ewoks, you'll see what I'm talking so about. So I hope it's a girl dog with that name. Oh yeah. Okay. Cute give give your dog gender identity problems. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, a lot go- there's a lot going on. Um, Matt has been marketing Powered Improv like crazy. That's and, awesome. Uh, he's been looking at spaces. It's just a matter of trying to find one that that's suitable. And it's kind of, it's a challenge. It's really a challenge. You find a space you like, and of course, then they want un- unrealistic amounts of money for something that has been empty for years. Makes yep. no sense at all. Then you got other places that look good, but they're in parts of town that apparently nobody wants to go. Um, and uh, you've got other places where they, again, look good, but they're, the plaza's empty. So you're thinking, well, there's nothing to draw this here. Um, so um, it's a challenge. Uh, but he's doing a good job. He's really doing a good job. Definitely. Now, let me turn this off here. Um, so, uh, but it's a it's a process, and and uh, apparently, uh, uh, you know, he, he uh, the idea I think is is it's going to be sort of like a oh, it's a cute dog. That's my dog. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. No, uh, here, let me let me let me let me let me change it. Oh, it's a good... oh cute doggy. It's blurry. Your your dog's got blurry disease. Yeah. All right. So let's go back to this. Um, She's a cutie. So he's gonna do it like a co-op kind of thing, where he's gonna uh, possibly give other other troops some nights a week to do things with. So well, I think this, that's awesome. Booking. So other I think that's venues. a good thing. I think it's a a, a tr- You know, we have a lot of people, a lot of lot of websites and 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 pages out there on Facebook for uh, improv community and all that. But it 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 and. and it doesn't seem to be too much of a community. Everybody's all, it's kind of like a family, and everybody's gone in their own different direction, and you're waiting for a holiday to bring everybody back, mm-hmm. but they don't come back. So yeah, what, or, it, what or did Uncle do Henry do? That's it. it's like what did show? Uncle Henry do to the improv guy because he won't come back for dinner? I mean, Uncle Henry has to go. I know. So Matt's killed Uncle Henry, and then he's going to, um, uh, it, was, it was brutal. It was, uh, it was last Thanksgiving. He came over, and we just, you know, no one's seen him since. Wow. Yeah. Through um, the cranberries, through the mashed potatoes. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Right, yeah. It was. I think it was in between the 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 cleaning of the plates and the dessert. <laughs> um, but they. Uh, uh, so it looks like that's going to be a cool. That's a cool concept. I think. I think it's a very, very, very cool concept. And it's it's uh, it's a. Uh, I think it'll it, it it it. You could even open the doors for stand up comedians, things like that. Don't be crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm just kidding. No, and and the good thing is Matt. Matt he's uh he's uh, uh diverse. He's we he's, we've got stuff with people. He's got. Uh, Powered Improv. Um, he's got Geek Stream, but he has yet to do a show. He's so busy, you know. He is. I have to make an appointment just to talk to him. So um, anyway, uh, so so you know, a lot of things going on there. That's kind of cool. Um, let's see. It's already August twenty first, and I'm seeing the signs from the stores for the Halloween stores. Isn't it soon? Well, like, is that, October. Well, yeah, but to, that's. <coughs> 
I don't see the point in it. Most parents don't let their kids out anyways. And some some cultures don't like like some cultures don't like clowns, you know what I mean? So they they, they think like if you dress as Satan or whatever, you're Satan, you know, yep. your kids are uh, and, and of course you got to go through the candy because it's evil. People are going to kill your child with with the razor blades and stuff. Yep. Um, but um, it, it just seems early to me. Um, but the one thing Matt likes is when they go on clearance, he gets wigs. Definitely. Apparently, he gets all of his. Get he gets costumes. his props, good props when 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 it's over and they haven't purchased what they wanted or they didn't get what they wanted. They uh, 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 it's a good place to get props and stuff for sure. Definitely, shows. definitely. If you got a girlfriend and you want to dress her up like a nurse, get it during clearance. If you want to dress her up like a maid, get clearance. A Viking, Viking. If you're into that, <laughs> I don't know if many guys are into a female Vikings. You don't think so? Vikings. You don't think so? I don't know. Why don't you think they'd like Vikings? I don't know. It's like that episode of uh, Futurama where they had the Amazon women. Oh yeah, snoo snoo, snoo snoo. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's bad. That's really bad. Um, Sometimes so- an overpowering woman can intimidate a man. What about you? Me, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of submissive until we get to the bedroom. Then I'm more dominant. What did you say, Matt? You said what about him? I don't, I don't think he's an overpowering woman at all. Oh, well, that's a good thing. No, no, I'm not an overpowering woman. I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of women that'd be happy to hear you say that. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so no, uh, uh, so so okay. Back to your karaoke. So you like you you uh, what what songs do you like now? You do. Uh, Roy Orbison. I'll start it off with Roy Orbison. That way, people know. So, I do you like set. have a standard set, or do you? Yeah. So, oh, so you you. It goes Roy Orbison, new song, and then top it off with Journey, and then Boys to Men. No, no Boys to Men. No Boys to no, Men. Not yet. Backstreet Boys. Nope, not yet. In sync. Nope. Mar- I keep it old. Mar- school. Mariah Carey, high pitched. <laughs> I keep it old school. <laughs> no Mariah Carey. That's great. <laughs> no Mariah Carey. No, I haven't seen her in a while since she had that baby. Let's see what else we got to talk about. Oh, good lord! Yeah, it's the twenty first. I can't believe it. The year's almost over. Which, well, I say that, and then what's going to happen is the, the holidays will come around, and and we'll, we'll, I've been thinking now. I mean, we talked a little bit about this last week. I've been thinking now. I, I should now. I should. I should start putting presents away because I always wait until the end of the year, and I never have any money. And then, of course, you've got all those things. You got cards. You got things to buy. And, and, of course, now, lights aren't a big deal. Like, every year we buy lights, but then we just tear, cut them up and throw them away and buy them again because it's... it's. But Matt does have some... He has the honorary box of lights, and I don't know why. Hi. Talking We're talking about your lights for Christmas. I don't decorate. I celebrate you Christmas. You heathen. I love Christmas, but I do not decorate... Or I do not you decorate love Christmas. Jesus? I love baby Jesus. Why don't you celebrate his birthday? Uh, the reason why I don't <laughs> celebrate his birthday is... Well, I do. I just don't... I don't publicly express it, it with Christmas. You're you're, like. you're you're a closet Christmas celebrator. Yeah, well, it's like all right. I'm gonna bring these things out. I'm gonna set everything up. Oh, Christmas is over now. I got to put it all away. No, and, and, well, and, and that's the thing. That's the thing. By the time we get set up, it's like, can it you be over? Cookies? No, I don't make cookies. Jesus hater. I know, right? <laughs> well, well do, do you know how many jobs Matt has gotten from baking? He really? go in and bake his way into TV thirteen, <laughs> and then they, <laughs> and it was so funny because the first time he drove around in the car, in the TV thirteen car, and it, you know it was it was we're talking, what was it two thousand two thousand two three something like that, and uh, cell phones weren't as po- you weren't as in everybody's hands yet you know but you had them but they were. Of course, if you went over your minutes, it was thousands of dollars, that kind of thing. So he remembered the, phone numbers. So he's in the car, and he's calling me from the car. Hey, guess where I am? What? The TV? Th- it's like a little, it was a, it was a Ford Escort. I mean, it was a little car, but he was so proud of it. <coughs> he was so proud of that. Uh, where is it? He's got a, where'd, where'd the TV 13 block go? Did you put it away? What? Where'd your TV 13 block go? The oh, mic? Block? Yeah. Um, it's in your room somewhere. You probably put it away for fear of theft. Well, wait, 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 wait. Why is he inside? What? That's sick. Because it's a treasure because it used to belong to Jane Park, who was a reporter who was awesome. Jane Park. Jane Park. That's cool. That's so, uh, very cool. Is that the little black that goes on a microphone? Yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 got, I got one of those. And I can, and I can, uh, you can buy them. I had one made for me. I, I, yeah, I thought about that, but. Um, I don't know why I would do it. I mean, it would be on the air. Is that, you know, well, I started a production company up north called Yield TV, 
And so I have a block that says Yield TV Production. Well, did you it. buy the block and put your own sticker on there? Or no, did you they, buy, they have it made. made it. Yeah. They, at, they cut it out. Put it, who, who, yeah, there, there, there are vendors that will It was like it. 80 bucks. Yeah, it's not that much anymore. Two pieces of wood put together with foam inside. Yep. So Mike Condom? Yes. Okay. Safe Mike. Mike. Mike Safe condom. miking. Mike Condom. That's bad. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Uh, movies. Have you seen any movies lately? Um, the last movie that I saw. Well, we were going to go see Red 2, but my friend didn't see Red, so I watched Red again. And uh, The Retired Extremely Dangerous with Will- Bruce Willis. That was a good movie. Yeah, it was That awesome was a very, movie. very good movie. Awesome movie. I, want, I need to see. There's so many movies out there, but here's the thing. I, I don't think... A lot. Of, although I want to see them, I can wait for it to come out on 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 pay per view or right. or video. I, I just don't. Um, now here's the thing. I uh, it makes it makes no sense for to me why a movie on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday would cost twelve to fifteen dollars. Fri- Friday or Thursday, Friday, Saturday, twelve to fifteen dollars. Where on Sunday it's nine dollars. Because who's going to go to the movies on Sunday? Uh, I mean, I know people will. I did. But I'm just saying the you were going to go at midnight on Sunday. What the hell are you talking about? That was Monday morning. When. Last, last Sunday when we called you to invite you over for dinner, but you said, no, I've got things to do. You I don't remember. Oh, yeah. We were supposed to go see Red 2. Fell through, huh? Well, Bet we only got to see you Red. you dinner now, aren't you? We got to see Red, and then I thought I was supposed to pick up my roommate at midnight, so I drove all the way out to the airport, called her up and said, Where, when are you landing? And she's like, tomorrow night. And I'm like, oh, okay. I just drove out to the airport to make sure everything was okay. You need a okay. personal assistant. I need... A calendar that don't you have a phone that has easy that? to work? No, this. Why are you grabbing Apple, yourself? Apple sucks. Period. Apple. Sucks. You lost your phone. Yeah, in, I don't in, even in know the in the couch. Phone. I don't even. Oh, care. it's on the floor. It's on I don't your, even on care. Your foot. Apple sucks. Okay. Period. Well, I they, great segue. I saw Jobs on Sunday. Did you? Um, and, How was it? Well, I'm torn. Well, it, it, I, again, I think I could have waited for it, but um, um, it was nine dollars. I thought, what the hell. Um, I was expecting, I was afraid that it was going to be one of those movies where they did, peppered it with a bunch of songs from the era to indicate the era. While they did a few, they didn't do it, it wasn't a lot. And some of the music was pretty, uh, pretty kind of um, out there. Apparently he, he did acid a lot as a, in college. And a lot of his inspiration came from the acid trips that he was on. Um, so, uh, and, and his, 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 uh, it, but it was kind of cool in the way that they did it because you were sort of like there. It was like being there, you know. They they show the progression to to uh, uh, Jobs' dad's garage. They show Wozniak. I don't know who that actor is. I know he's a new actor. I think he's playing something on on some sort of. Uh, there's another show like, like West Wing. It's not West Wing, but there's something else uh, 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 show out there that he's this fat guy that that was on that. So this chubby guy that playing him did a very good job. I think a very very good job. Um, and uh, Aston Kutcher, um, pretty good actor. I mean, uh, he's, yeah, but he's he, not acting like a goof. He's not well, and I think that's a thing. I mean, he 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 needs a few more serious roles for people to see that he actually did it because uh, uh, you know. Uh, and I didn't realize it as as Jobs got older. You know, he had that kind of stupor walk, like he had a pole up his ass, right? And and, and he he it was like it, it was like a toddler moving forward, like it was going to fall at any moment. So, and this he as the show progressed, they showed him progressing through this this walk. Um, but uh, uh, it was really kind of cool in the sense that I liked being able to watch the history of it, and it was you know, and 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 now it's easier for me to understand why I always thought that uh, Steve Jobs and, and them were 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 uh, cool and sort of iconic. Um, I wasn't wow, you know, I wasn't you know. There are people that are wet their pants over. Oh my God, it's Steve, you know. Uh, that was never me, and it still isn't me. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not like that when but, I see famous people. But but um um. I now see why you know these guys really did something very very pivotal. It's it's kind of like almost as almost as as important as the guy that that created the internet and then gave it to the world. If the, they didn't have iPod, they'd be out of business. Well, yes, but it has nothing to do with the the, 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 the origins of, or or okay. You're you're thirty two, thirty five. Okay, so you're young, um, but I remember an Apple two E. I remember the Apple II GS. I had one of each. Yeah. I remember putting a card in the computer. I remember the, 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 the floppy learning the word daisy chain, which isn't a sexual position by the way, but I guess it could be. <laughs> um, um, it, you know, I remember these things, and I guess you know, uh, you know, as a you know, it, 
but to see, I'm thinking, oh my god! If I had known where they lived, I could have known these people. Yeah, right. It's just I would have been. I would have not. Hey, you know. Um, but then you look at it. They made it so. They made it look like it was so easy to get the money to do this. Apparently, they, um, they off Jobs had called all these people. All, all you know, IBM and all this. And I guess they were at that time. It was still so young that it was a small community. Everybody. They all had gone to the same kind of colleges. They all. It was a very. What they were doing was pretty specific and pretty unique. So it, it was a small world, and. Um, um, he was calling people and calling people, and finally someone who drives into his parents' house and says, well, I'm going to give you like $300,000. Back then, we're talking 77, 78, something like that. That's like a million dollars, you know? Yep. And then he said, and then Jobs said, no, no, I want that plus a line of credit and this, 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 contingent on the fact that we'll pay you back within the first X number of years. And that's how Apple was formed. And um, <coughs> now I have done things where I've done promotion for Powder Improv and PJ and Friends, and you call people, and they, they're, 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 there's no such thing as that anymore. You, you can't do that. Um, um, I'm like, but, but there, there, there's something. I, this I know would work, and I know Powder Improv would work. Um, but getting people to uh, give you money, not, not easy. Yeah. You're not easy. Um, but they made I'm sure, of course, in the interest of the film, it probably took a lot longer and was a lot more frustrating than it was. Uh, and they showed several failed attempts and some frustration on his part. But uh, the other side of it too, Jobs was a jerk. Yeah. Um. He apparently had a kid. Um. His girlfriend got pregnant, and uh, it was just on the verge. They had just gotten the loan or just gotten approval, and they were just moving forward with the company. And he looks at her and says, "It's not mine. Get out." Wow. And she's crying. And in the movie theater, I just she's. What did I do wrong? And I'm like, oh, I want to shout. You spread your legs, woman. Don't right. do that. You wow. know. And and, wow. and and what did I do wrong? You opened your freaking legs. That's what you did wrong. What did you think was going to happen? Well, kind of, kind of. I mean, we can't put blame all on her. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I don't blame her, but don't be surprised when you've spread your legs. Yeah, right, right. Couple, you know, I mean. That stuff up. You know, oh, you, 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 is that, too, is that too, too real for you? You can't handle that kind of conversation? What? Well, I can talk like that. No, you can't. No. <laughs> No, but and and so he was a jerk. But then years later, like uh, when he was coming up with the new uh, operating system for for the next version of uh, for the Mac for for um, um, Macintosh, which even I back then when I looked at it, I thought I don't want this piece of shit. Yeah, right. You know the the, the biggest thing that ever happened to that thing was it, it starred in Star Trek for a, a scene when he picked up the mouse and hello computer. You know that was it. It was done. It was gone. Um, but it showed how how the corporate bigwigs and the the uh, uh, really can screw things up. Oh, he yeah. had a great product. They just sit in there. He office. had a great vision, but they went in there and they raised the price point right before launch of of the Macintosh, and uh, they raised the price point. It was supposed to be for the every person, and back then five or six hundred dollars was a lot of fucking money, right? So now they raise it to twelve fifteen hundred dollars. Well, that's like a back then that was like a car, mm -hmm. you know. Um, that that was uh, 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 so so, and he looked at them. You're 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 crazy, and uh, sure enough, it didn't work. And of course, they're in a board room and they're all pointing fingers at each other. And he's like, "I'm not taking blame for this. I created this. It's good. You marketed it wrong." Yep. Um, but then they turn around. And they show how uh, uh, Microsoft <coughs> took took the concept for their platform with the trash can and the windows and all that, and created Windows. Wow. And they went nuts. They went nuts. Um, yeah. Um, I, I I I don't know. I like Windows. I like the openness of it. Like the fact that I can change things around and all this. I I ask people who own Macs for like ten years. Hey, how do I get the terminal? And they're like, huh? Well, and, what's terminal? And it's like <laughs> it's your command prompt. It's there. It's there. But even okay, I do tech support for Internet Help Desk and, and for for people with their internet, and we get people and and and. They, there are people. It's, it's like there are people that shouldn't be wearing spandex. There are people that shouldn't be driving. There are people that should definitely not own a computer. And if you own one, you shouldn't be on the internet unless you have a clue of what the hell it is. Yeah, right. If you can't plug something in, if you don't know where the start button is on your computer, you do not deserve to own one. Exactly. Um, and I know. And I know there's some guy. You know, there's some uh, uh, daughter show. Mom, look, you can chat with Aunt Millie down the road. Isn't this so cool? You, yeah, well, that she's girl really needs thinking, to be slapped in no, the head. No, what she's thinking is, I'm going to get them to get a computer that I could sit on and I could do everything on it, and they won't have a clue as to how to use it. 
Well, I don't. Well, that may be part of it. But what I'm saying is, this is like an older girl who's moved out, oh. like an older, you know, like mom's in her 80s and the kids in her 20s, 25. Maybe she's got a, her first child, yep. and she's introducing her 90 year old mom to. It's kind of like showing them a, a, a DVR. Oh my God, look, mom, you could save your. It was ten thousand bucks. The, these TV people price. are so yes. I, I okay. I have a coworker that's sitting next to me and it says uh, every, after every call, these people are fucking stupid. They're the dumbest people. Oh, you can't. And I'm I'm still coming from the customer service mind. No, you can't. Th- it's not like they can hear you. Yeah. You know. Um. Um. And he said no. I don't, and 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 I, I get it. I'm like yeah, yeah. You know. Of course, they all say the same thing. It's like it's like when you see a tall person. How's the rain up there? It's like I'm computer. I'm computer illiterate. They all think it's like they've. I haven't heard that a hundred times. And, and you're like, you look doofus. Then that just means you're stupid. That's mean call's going to take twenty minutes. Yeah, or it could right. take ten because you have no fucking idea what you're doing. And then the, the the first answer is, well, can you just send somebody out there to help me? No, 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 no. I'm not going to send a truck out there that costs us 150 dollars to send to you when you just need to plug the fucking thing in. Yeah, right. Turn it on. Well, what am I paying for? I said you're paying for the internet to be at the building. If we can verify that it's at the building, we're done. So when they call in to me, yeah, okay, I'm going to rant for a minute, okay? So when they call in to me to say, you know, we have two computers that can get on the Internet, but we bought four more, and I can't get them on. Can you send? No, we don't handle your internal networking. Once we verify the Internet is there and we've got one computer online, and if you have a wireless af- access, we've got one wireless device online, we're done. It's up to you to configure the rest of those out. Yeah, right. I don't know how to use my one computer, so we're going to buy 15 more of these things that I don't know how to use. You know, and I got one lady who who inadvertently erased her computer. She went in there and said, well, I had this thing that said I uh, fresh install, so I thought I just wanted to do. And, and and she said, well, I can't get on. I said, hey, not my issue. You know, I mean, yes. We, we, we. So it drives me crazy. It drives me freaking crazy. Um, I do computer repair. In home re- computer repair, you know, if if anybody out there needs a computer fix, give me a call. Um, and I do run into people that shouldn't have a computer, I, so yeah. I get it. No, and it, well, and it, it, it's it's frustrating. It's it just I look at people and and um, then then there are days where uh, uh, I don't know. It's okay. I gotta move on with this. Um. Oh, um, anyway, back back to reality. Serenity now. Serenity now. Um, so so you, you're fl- you're flying out tonight. Do you have yep. any any rituals that you do when you fly? Do you have like a special airline you like or? No, it's just I'm on JetBlue, and sometimes you win it, sometimes you lose it with JetBlue. Well, you're skinny enough; you can still fit in the seats. I usually have to yeah, buy two right? seats. Ah, uh, not at uh, Universal though. Universal. I had to sit in the special seats. I was like, "Wait, what? Are you wait a minute! Me? Wait, 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 wait! What special seats are we talking? Those bigger ones that are like kind of on the end there? I didn't know they had so, such a thing. Yeah, they have like little ones. And you're not have, that big. Apparently, I was for Universal Studios. Well, then, if you're big, I, I'm not welcome. <laughs> I, they couldn't put it down. They were like, "Oh, we're gonna have to move you to this seat." So they moved it to the other seat and they put it down. And I'm like, "Oh wow, I guess I got to lose some weight." I've actually lost weight. I was 240. I'm down to 221 now. So, well, I like to keep going. I got to work out tonight at three before I get on the plane. So I'll work out, get finish packing, and then take off. You'll work out, finish packing, and take off. Yep. You know, I haven't traveled. I don't know that I've traveled since the new uh, new rules have gone into effect with airlines. I'm not looking forward to any kind of security issues. What are the new rules? You know, you know, where they can pull you aside and reach in your pants and fill you up. Ah, I got nothing to hide. Do what you got to do. Hey, if you want to do that, that's weird weapons. on you. What? Some of us have things that could be considered weapons. It's true. You know, some of us true. don't. You know, it could be, you know, uh, excuse me, that actually is a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> yes, it is. Matt's having a flash somewhere, <laughs> but not here. <laughs> um, um, what? Dick Van Dyke. Yeah. <laughs> Dick Van Dyke. Isn't the real dead? Dick Van Dyke? How do you know this? Because everybody sent him messages on Facebook. So he was sending them back. Why did they send him a fa- message on Facebook? I thought he died. No. He bought a, like a brand new Jaguar. Brand new. Just left and, and he left the road with it. Riding down the highway and he starts smelling something and the entire engine catches fire. And the entire car is almost engulfed and he's sitting there. He was trying to text his wife while the car is burning. People stopped their car in the middle of the highway ripped the door open, he's like, I'm okay, and they ripped him out of the car, going, your car's going to blow up, because it's all on fire, and you're just sitting there. Yeah, right. They the side of the road, they said, they rescued him, he was very, very nice about it, 
Um, well, I would hope so. The car basically, it, it, it's horrible. It looks like a trash can. It's all burnt out, black. And uh, okay, so he's, like, he's like, I owned it for an hour. Well, I hope <laughs> um, it's insured. But uh, uh, his wife came to pick him up, and he said, everybody sent him a, I hope you're okay, and all that. And, that and you sent him, on, uh, I'm a hope you're okay. Yes. And by the way, my name is Matt Jeremy. I have power improv and stuff with people interested in my show. And he said, oh, I know who you are. Nice. You, you fan, is he going to star in your show? You know, so so you're running around the world sabotaging cars that people might be driving on. Off chance they might text you back. Are you insane? Right. <laughs> uh, so were you in Sanford any time today? Yes, I was sitting on cell towers because I hate when cell phones go off during my show. Okay. It must have been a Sprint tower. Ooh. Right. They right. Yeah, that's true. I could be standing next to their tower and have no signal. I could be in the home office of Sprint and have, and have to go, go use my uh, my uh, AT and T phone. Verizon. Because right now AT and T uh, Sprint just came out with a new a new thing for phones. It's called a crank, so you can crank it up. Right. It's yep. Great. It's fantastic. So anyway, you need to go back to work, don't you? I do, but only for a few hours, and I have cl- I teach class tonight. I teach improv. So I don't know if any of that was heard by the audience, so right. we're probably going to have a dead spot in the show, no, all because I'm of loud. you. I'm loud. Take one of the dogs with you to work. I'm sure they'd like to have dog dog day to work today. Yay. No, I am going. He's leaving. I'm leaving. Take care, Matt. Thank you for the sandwich. <laughs> Isn't it nice how he comes home to make you a sandwich? Yeah, right? I didn't get nothing. I don't even... Oh, it's, oh he, wait, how did he get a contract? I have a trailer outside. <laughs> <laughs> that that sounds creepy. <coughs> you got like a little midget going to come by and water him down. <laughs> Are you feeling hot, sir? Do you need to be cooled down? <laughs> <laughs> like a little, little brush at the elephants. Lift, lift, lift the folds. I like it. Contract. How do I get a contract? Um, Oops. How to be a Google person? You didn't check the box. You didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm not a Google person. Not a Google person. <laughs> you need to go now. Because they're not hearing any of this. <laughs> All right, all right. So the craziness has left the building. Um, all right, it is one thirty-seven. Let me just do this real quick because you know why we don't know where we are. One second. You're listening to PJ and Friends on PJandFriends.com, Orlando, Florida. Hey, make sure you stop by PJandFriends.com. We want you to uh, like us on Facebook, follow what's going on. Uh, we are doing our best to expand our services. It might take some time to do that, but we do want you to stop by. And the best way to keep up with us is on Facebook. Um, go to PJandFriends.com. On the left-hand side of the main page, there's a little thing that says follow us on Facebook and like us there. That would be a good thing. JB, you have not done this. I have not done that. Center. I need to. So I can't see. I have to, pay, I have to log. I have to uh, do the post as me and not as the page. Because I can't link you because you're not you're just not linkable. So, oh, um, not a linkable guy. No, no. Um, also, hey, uh, PJ and Friends has several ways to promote your product, service, club, group, or business. Uh, we have uh, average about fifty thousand listeners a week. We can get you heard. Uh, we have live reads, fifteen, thirty, and sixty second commercials. Um, advertising packages start as low as fifteen dollars. You can visit. Uh, you can get more information. Uh, email me at pj at pjandfriends dot com uh, or visit our webpage for more information. That would be. PJFriends.com. Thank you. Enough for the commercials. Uh, I actually have commercials, but um, for other companies, but they no longer pay me for the commercials, so I don't uh, play them. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Yeah. I used to get like a, the fun spot was a good one. They used to give me stuff to give away. I just I was off for a while, and and and, and so <clears throat> there you go. Um, itch 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 itch. Um, let's see here. So, uh, you you were you were born where? Originally, I was born in El Salvador. Really? Yes. Okay. And, and then I was adopted, brought up to Massachusetts, lived there for 34 years, and now I'm in Florida. So, so you, you, raising Mass, what was that like? I mean, uh, uh, 
what, what you know, tell, tell me a little bit about, you know, being raised in Massachusetts. I've never been, that's like a seat of our democracy. Yeah, it's... Do you see any anybody famous? <laughs> any, any ghosts that you know of? No, there's nobody famous. Nobody leaves my town. You don't leave my town. You don't just. You get got away. You, wait, wait, wait. No, wait, it, it doesn't like a matter. Mafia. You said <laughs> you don't leave my town. You don't. You don't leave this town. This town is. Oh my God, Western Mass. If you ever go into Western Mass, right? You'll know what I'm talking about. It's just you go to the bars, same three people, and. Here you could go to the bars and meet so many new people, either people traveling or just people coming out just to have fun. Western Mass, no. No, it's the same three people. Dating the same three people. Dating the same three people. <laughs> no, no. I'm telling you. It's, I need to go back for the sake of wondering why I came here. I need a reason to keep pushing down here. And that my reason is to not go back to Massachusetts. I think by tomorrow night I'll be like, all right, I'm ready to go back to Florida. Well, well, you haven't been here that long. You've gotten acclimated that quick. No, I've been here for about a year now. See, when I was a kid, I was born in I was born in um, New Jersey. Um, I too was adopted, um, and I, I did go back eventually and meet my real family and all that stuff. And, and they were just as messed up as my, my my adopted family, so I don't really have much to do with them. Um, I was the youngest of nine children. Um, the, the, la- the, 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 the youngest four were given up, all given up for adoption. Wow. Um, and, uh, but, and I remember, I vaguely remember the first day I, w- w- my parents took me home. Um, and we were standing outside their apartment, and uh, for whatever reason, my real name was Johnny, and I don't know why. And my mom, my, I remember my mom kneeling down, you know, first two things. We... we We'd like it for you to call us mom and dad. And I'm like, oh, fine, I don't care, whatever. And then it was, uh, you don't mind, we're going to call you John instead of John. I didn't, I was like, what, four, five? I didn't, oh, oh yeah, sure. you had no say in it? Sure, fine. I, I, I didn't know the deal, right? Fine with me. Um, and, uh, but I, I mean, vaguely remember that. And I remember uh, it was kind of like cool because my very first Christmas. Uh, that I remember, I, of course, you're little, and any tree would look huge. The tree was huge, and my dad ha- is an Italian, so it's a huge family. My mom's Irish, huge family. So I had, the tree was, like, stacked with presents because it was my first year, right? Yep. Of course, as the years went on, they dwindled. I'm like, what the hell's this? I'm getting older. The presents are, where are the, of course, people are dying off. I'm like, wait, just because you're dead, you've got to get me a present. Yeah, right? You know, so, but, a you contract. Know, I had one of those, uh, and you probably don't know what they are, but they, they had a, this w- little wooden workbench that had a screwdriver and a nail and had things you would tap in, and I'd like 20 of those because wow. everybody got the same damn thing. I'm like, Re- re- really? We couldn't get something new? I mean, you couldn't all get me, you know. I uh, think the best gift and I, I ever got was a Voltron, the die cast Voltron. Yeah. That all went together into one giant Voltron. That was the best gift I got. See, my family, they weren't really th- cool that way. The, I never got really the good. Oh, that was my For example, we got, got a that. Pong, everybody else got a Tari. We, you know, and 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 uh, uh, we were like the last on a block to get cable because they didn't see a need for yeah, it. We didn't get cable till late. Um, and and the sad part about it is a couple places we went to, they would come around and sell it, pre-sell it, but then the date would come and go, and they, oh, I'm so sorry, we're not. It's it, they'd give the money back, and uh, they had this thing. Um, it was it was uh, it was uh, uh, called on TV. It was uh, the this antenna you put on your on your roof, and I can't remember the kind of antenna it was. And it would point in a certain direction. And only time they had things that you had a box where you just click on. It was basically just a switch box. And so it just switched to, to and you put it on channel three, and you had whatever they decided to show you. And uh, that was the first time I saw porn. Wow. Because while well, my parents scrambled. No. Wow. No. Um, my parents would, uh, let, went, um, <laughs> um, my parents went. Uh, uh, they, they, they took my sister uh, uh, to Key West, they, and I was old enough at the point where I could. I, we were living in da- Davie, Florida, at the time, and I was maybe thirteen, maybe fourteen, something like that. Yeah, I was twelve when and, I got my first. And uh, and it was it was it was weird. Um, uh, it was again this, this thing only came on on Fridays, Fridays, and Saturdays, or Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays. So it was, and it was like after seven, and then the porn started at midnight. And so I was watching the show, and it's like Zorro, 
and it was like a chubby guy playing uh, the the cop kind of guy, and and uh, a skinny guy playing Zorro, and these two clearly bad Spanish actresses playing the girls, and they were being you know taken, mm-hmm. and um, I'm like, R- 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 huh? This is this is sex? Okay, I gotta be Zorro. <laughs> Uh, I was even chubby back then. I was like, okay, I'm going to be the cop. Now, was it soft core or was it hard core? Well, so, yeah, you didn't see anything. It was okay. bad so dialogue. Like, like There was like a plant in th- the way. Th- right, there's a, no, well. There, so you see you her saw head her. coming out. You saw her. You saw his body going that, in, that, but yeah. there's a plant in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and, and it's like bad dialogue. Like, um, And why Zora would be raping the town women, I don't know. And why the cop, well, the cop, he was an ass anyway, even the real thing. And and he was chasing this girl, and she's her dialogue is like, but I'm a virgin. Well, if you do what I want you to do, you'll still be a virgin. Come get dinner. I'm like, oh, you could do that. <laughs> so he, you know, I'm like, I'm like, okay. And then, and then the next one was about this bathhouse. Um, and again, it was like, it was, again, we're talking late '70s, probably early '80s, probably late '70s still. And uh, it, it, I'm like. And so, and all these people going there, and they, they, uh, it was just bad. It was bad. But, you know, this was my introduction to porn, and I was limited. I had no, we didn't have VCRs. I think we didn't get our first microwave until the mid 80s, early oh, 90s. Wow. We were bad. You know, um, it was not a good thing. Um, you know, we saw the TV that had the dial on it, you know. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, we weren't cool. My, so, so when I got presents and stuff, it was always, it was never, it was never, um, and you know, and looking back at it now, though, because I'm an adult and what things cost, and and I didn't have it too bad though. Yeah, my parents did very very well, and I was never grateful. I was I was an ass. I was the kind of kid I I, I for whatever reason I was a habitual liar. I never told them the truth. Um, you know, I was the kind of kid that always needed to have a note to come home from school. You know, and I'd lose the note, but my mom knew it was coming, so I'd get beaten anyway. Um. Uh, uh, I was a bad boy, and I, I regret it. I wish I wish I could go back and change some things because, but I suspect, I suspect, even if I went back to talk to me, I'd be looking at me like, what? Yeah, right. Future uh, you, I'm, shut up. I'm like a shaking you. Listen to me. Life could be so much. What? <laughs> It wouldn't matter. He wouldn't listen to me. I'd, I'm like, I'm just look at me. I apparently have gone back in time. Nothing fucking has changed. <laughs> So, uh, but let me ask you: If you went back and talked to you, what do you think you would think of you? I don't know. I lived a pretty good life. I can't complain. Uh, is there anything, anything that you did, anything big that you would have done as a kid that you would have, if you could go back and say, you know what, don't, 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 don't do this, don't do this. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's anything. You, nothing you want to admit to on the air? Well, no, it's not that. It's just I, I think I lived a pretty good. You were All a good life. kid. I was a good kid. You I, no, son of a bitch. No police records, no nothing. Well. I was afraid of my parents. So, so you could have you could have you could have um security clearance then. Because you've got no records. Yeah. That's cool. Um no, I, I, I wasn't a horrible kid, but I, I, I had issues. Lots of issues. Probably still do. And um um just uh uh you know, I was I was, you know, my parents would look at me like, I don't understand. And my theory was I could always lie and then tell the truth later. So I would lie about dumb shit. Okay. Okay. Um, We talked last week about video games. I would steal money out of my sister's. You know, that's how bad I was, right? And I never got away with it. You know, here I am. I don't know if I was ditching school or not, but it was either a day off from school or I was ditching school. My parents happened to be on. And I told you this? Yep. And so I didn't get away with that. I mean, I, I got caught, you know, and and so I, you know, but I would still like, like I could, like I had a chance of getting away. I'd be lying. I'm like, I don't understand. I mean, I'm, you know, and and but then I look at other kids. I the friends of friends that were very smart that were like on the honor roll and they were thought of well. And um, I'm like, boy, I wish I. And apparently, my idea is, I wish I lived in their house. It would probably be a lot. But no, I'd just be a liar in a new house. You know, it's like whole new people to lie to. <laughs> new money to grab and. Well, no, well the thing is, no, and the thing is, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm about to say, like, well, I never robbed my mom, <laughs> but I took it from my sister. <laughs> I mean, <listen. laughs> no, uh, no, and, and uh, okay, th- things I remember, okay, uh, my mom was very good. For example, she would get, um, um, I, of course, I always had to get up early to take the bus to school, and she would, she was, 
you know, she she's a nurse, so uh, so she was working all hours and on her feet and, and in demand, and you know, so so what she did was not an easy job, and so even when she'd come home and cook dinner, and uh, I mean, just you know, she did a good job, you know, she could have easily, I'm laying down, kids, get a sandwich, never did that, um, 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 I'm forgetting what I'm going to say, um, I'll, have to, I'll remember in a second, I'm, okay, um, but uh. uh no, and I remember she get, gets up in the morning and makes her breakfast and all that. And I think it was like the second or third day of school, uh, a new season of school. And she got up and she made me pancakes, so I had a good breakfast go off. And she put the dishes in the sink. And I said, you know, Mom, just, just go back to bed. I'll wash it when I get home. And I meant it, but I forgot. <sighs> and my mom comes home from work. It's like 3 or 4 in the afternoon. And she's – and I admit it, I know it. Uh, and I, all I do could hang my head because – She's looking at me like, and again, of course, I, I'm, I'm a liar. What were you I, doing? Stealing I'm a, money from I'm, your sister? I'm a liar anyway, you know, and I, I honestly meant it, but I, I, I forgot it. And, uh, you know, I, I, I still wish what I'd done. I sh- uh, even back now, I look back and think I should have said, you know, Mom, I forgot. Let me do this now. But I didn't. I just. <laughs> you said dragons attacked you? Right. No. No, it wasn't that bad. No, but, but, uh, but no, I, it, it was, it was. It was bad. Um, you know, I was ungrateful. And I wish to God I could go back because I look back now and I think, oh, how good I had it. You know, how good my parents were and how tolerant they were. Um, yeah, they, they goofed up a little bit, but um, it, it was an honest goof up. It was never anything really bad. And, you know, now I look back and you look at today's world and keep, people are beating their kids and kids are kids are being driven in the lakes by their mom. And, and, and you know, I, I just. Parents aren't even owning up to their kids. That ain't my kid. Right. I remember. I remember when. Like that kid wants to hear that that your own dad doesn't even want you, just because he wants to go out and have sex with other women and get them pregnant. That ain't mine. I did. What? The yeah, heck? yeah. Have twelve. What have, the have, heck? have you? Know, you've got siblings that you don't know about and you don't want to know about. Um, uh, yeah. No. No. You need to know about them so you don't hook up with them in Las Vegas. That's true. You might marry your sister or your cousin and have a have a sloth or you know from the Goonies. Mm-hmm. Baby woof. <laughs> baby baby. Woof. Baby. Yeah. Um no, no, I I was an ungrateful child and, and I, I you know <clears throat> my mom was a, a, a well, a heavy woman. Uh she had fought weight for a long time and I remember we were um um one good thing about the places they work, my dad worked for Humana for many years as an accountant, and my mom a nurse, and she was always always taking classes to better herself and stuff like that. And these things always they always had great uh, uh, company parties, and so we're going to like a, a park somewhere, and she's putting shorts on, and she's and she says she comes to my room and she says to me, showing me her legs, does this embarrass you? And now I look back and say I really should have said more than I did. I said, of course not. And it was a dismissive, of course not. It wasn't, why do I care? It, you know, but it was, she was really, first of all, that she even thought to, that, you know, I should have been better. You know, I should have been, um, Mom, no, no, you're fine. You know, uh, you look good. You, you know, I should have been, you, you know, wear what where, where you want. You, you know what I mean? I should have been more, there should have been more to it. Uh, it's just, uh, again, it goes back to the fact that I was a really insensitive child. Hi, baby. What do you need? You had me worried last night. Sit for me. Molly, sit, sit. Thank you. Yeah, Molly. Molly had to. Uh, um, I think we we think she has asthma, but she doesn't have attacks very very often. And last night she wake woke up and she was she it was middle of the night and she wasn't breathing. She was was uh, it hot out? Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, but if she's on her back and she she starts she gets excited and all that, it, you can you can create it. Or it can come on, and so so the minute she does, we got to get her calmed down because she's not breathing, she's not getting air in, and it was bad, it was bad. And so I look at her now; I can look at she's tired. I look at she's it was a rough night. Matt said apparently it happened a couple more times last night. Um, so she, she scares me. We had a friend um, in the theater yesterday uh, uh, who had to, who had to put her dog down, Aww, and so she she came to the show and still did a show. And, and of course, I had to put Cody down um, a year or so ago. And so when this happened last night, I was up on my uh, up in a heartbeat, and I woke Matt up. Matt, you got to help me with her because I don't know what to do. And um, um, so lucky that she's okay, right? But she's been today. She's been very needy, been very wanting to be, and, and I, which is fine. You can have what you want. You can have whatever you need. Um, hey, how are you? You a good girl? Yes, you are. So um, anyway, 
So uh, when you go home, are there any things you do when you go home? Do you have like places you go that you visit or? No, my storage unit. Grab some things that I may not have thought I needed down here. I want to grab my tent. I was thinking more like a awesome bar tent. or a restaurant or a favorite no, hangout. No, no, You're no, going to a wait, 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 wait. You're going to I'm going to a storage unit. Go ahead. So I'm, uh, that's it. <laughs> No, I'm telling you, these bars. Suck. You're getting a tent. You like camping? Yeah, I love camping. See, I, I have the best tent ever. It's got the center console. Wait, it's got a console? Well, you know what I mean, like the center tent. Yeah. And then it's got a side tent and a side tent. You got a mansion. And it links together with got, this canopy to the center tent. You got a mansion. So you go from one tent to the center tent to the last tent. Sixty bucks. Are, Walmart. Are you are you $60 like by yourself? How, how how many people does it sleep? I'd say four, eight, twelve, maybe twelve people. Now, have, you, have you been camping in Florida? I mean, there's a bit different. Oh, I, than haven't, I, haven't, I haven't camped because in Florida it's hot here. here. So what? It's hot. You know, camping's fun. Camping's awesome. Well, you got a lot of friends. They'll they'll probably go camping with oh, you. Yeah. Do they, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you need to go one day and go to your friends and and you're kind of like you know strung out or like crazed. Look. Let's go camping. <laughs> we want to be out in the middle of nowhere with JB. Yep. An axe and some propane. Yeah, that'll be great. And wild boars. I don't know about that. I When I was a kid, I went camping a couple times here. Um, and, uh, you know, it was like uh, you, you, the, the the fear was gators. You know, you're always near a lake. And uh, um, I never had a problem, though. Um, n- never saw a gator. I, I could One could have been next to me. I wouldn't have known it. Uh, but that was the biggest concern. Uh, but now, um, I don't know. There's lots of places to go. Um, I haven't. Uh, but you need now, like me at my age, I'd need a few things. I'd need a tent or something. Um, I have one guy I see uh, who who says he's a, an avid camper, but he's rigged his tent so they can put an AC unit in it. I'm like, that's not camping. Yeah, right. Where, where in the woods are you finding an outlet? Oh no, no, yeah, no. Right? This runs off a generator. Wait, what? I'm like, so, you know, why did you just buy a camper? Oh, I can't afford a camper. But you've got like a $1,000 AC unit. And if you, I'm like, wait, wait, what? You know, anyway. But I get it. I, I would probably, listen, listen. If I had a tent without AC and I had a tent with AC, I would probably gravitate to the tent with AC. <laughs> tell me, tell That's me. That's not camping. Tell me, tell me you were out there and you're sweating and it's a long, hot night and the bugs are biting and you're... The guys next door are having like a martini and your beer and and s'mores and his AC and Dish Network. <laughs> Maybe I mean, you, you can't go anywhere now I if it doesn't can, have cell service. Un- I, yeah, I can understand the concept of it, but I'm just saying like that's not camping. AC so what, and a okay, tent. So so what is tent? camping for you? Honestly, without a tent, that's camping for me. Do you what, have you done that? I've done it once. Do you and it do you snowed. Run, do you bring it? Oh wow. Yeah, I woke up with snow on my face the next day. I was warm as hell too. But That's ha- but, 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 but were you like, you know, they, they, some people. Uh, I know there are some people that that swear by like ponchos and stuff like that because it'll 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 keep your it, you know they it keeps your body heat in. Um, but you know, sleeping bag, what nothing? Yeah, just a, it, it was a sleeping bag next to a campfire, and I woke up the next day and there was like a little haze of uh, snow, like a little blanket of snow. And I was like wiped off my face, and it was all like wet. And I'm like, oh my god, it snowed on us. You didn't even notice it? No, it was in the middle of November. I was warm. I had a great sleeping bag. So, so okay. And so, uh, uh, do you cook on the fire? Or what do you do? Yeah, we went out. We cooked on the fire. We had hot dogs, hamburgers. These guys were like little Boy Scouts. They had like this little ketchup. It was powder, and you sprinkled it on your hamburger, and it like made it into ketchup. It was like ketchup powder. That probably cost you more than a bottle of ketchup. <laughs> it was them. They they bought all the supplies. They made all the food. It was spectacular. It was a great camping night in the middle of nowhere. Our car had to be like three miles down the road. So that's camping to me. That's camping. Well, now see why my first my my first camping thing was um, uh, my dad had a, a pup cam- camper thingy, the little thing. Um, and you know, you, you dra- drag it behind the car, and then you pop, each side would pop up, and and it even had a toilet in it, which never I never understood. I never un- you you were peeing or pooping in, in in the middle of this. Anyway, uh, even I, 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 
even as a kid, I, I wouldn't say these things. I'm like, really? <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't want to see my mom pooping. I don't want to see this. This is sick. Um, this is probably why I was a liar years ago. No, I never saw her poop. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, here I am blaming them for that. No, but it was, it was it, you know, um, it was very cool. I mean, it, you know, um, uh, we, it, of course, we were in New Jersey, and, and uh, uh, we did it in the spring or the fall, so it was never cold, cold. It was cold, like, at night, and then during the day it would be nice. Um, we always went to these nice places, and and um, I remember, I, and I just can't remember where we went, but I remember places like they always had like cool things like train museums. You go there and they have the model trains, and they always good things like that. And you always met met awesome people in the campgrounds, right? Um, um, I, I remember a, a, a Coke machine, an old old Coke machine, where it was a kind where you put the quarter in, and then you you you, you pull the, the the you open the door and you pull the, key, the thing out, but if you the thing was, it opened the door and it released one soda. So once you did, it was done. If you opened that door but closed it, it kept your money and you couldn't get a soda. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't know this, so I do this. I open up. Oh, look at this. Click. Wait, 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 what? And of course, I was too afraid to go ask my mom. I lost my quarter. <laughs> the machine stole my quarter. <laughs> so I, where's your soda? I drank it. <laughs> I remember we had a vending machine once, and it had like a tray that spun around. Yeah. And you could reach in, grab what you needed, and then, like, if you pushed the tray over, it would go, bzzz, and the door would stay open, so you could just grab the next thing. <laughs> it's like a TV, uh, like a newspaper thing. Uh, kind of, yeah. yeah. It's like you slide the little door open, grab your food, and then you well, could push yeah. the, tr- the, the, the little spinning trolley and it would automatically move to the next thing and you could grab the next so thing. you're not this innocent person no, after all are no. You? no i know how to hack life no well i remember and here's the thing i remember as a kid i remember um and i've seen it in old movies the places where they're like sandwich shops but they're a bunch of doors in the wall you put your money in you open it up and you take the sandwich out and it closes i remember one of the i i don't remember where it was i remember being at one um you know, I remember diners where they had the jukebox in the in the booth and all that. Um, we had one place that was a pizza place we'd go to, and they had the jukebox in their thing. And it was a uh, my favorite. I was six, maybe seven. And it was uh, Kung Fu Fighting was my you know Kung Fu, you know. and so that was cool. Um, yeah, real, real cool stuff there. Um, so 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 okay. So you're going back to your storage unit, R- really? Yeah. No, nothing more exciting than a storage unit. No, I got a lot of stuff in there. Um, I'm going to probably have a party Friday night with friends. That's good. So they can all come and visit me while I'm up there. And that's about it. Sunday, I come back. Thank cool. God. So, so, um, now you, you, huh, you, you were job hunting for a while and you still you, am. You were going to sell, what were you going to sell door to door water purifiers? Basically it was, uh, somebody had hooked me up. With a water treatment um, thing where you go in and it cuts down your water bill. Yeah. And so I do the assessment. I do all the math work and all the paperwork. And uh, if you decide you still want to go with it, then I come back and I install it. But I haven't heard from them in like five weeks. So I don't think I got that job See, anymore. My, 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 things, like, oh, I, things for me like that scream scam. And not because of because there are so many people out there that will go out there and terrorize people about how this is bad, your water's bad, you need to do this. Um, and then they go in and they, um, who is this? Who's emailing me? Robert. Um, um, so, but I've done door to door sales too, but I was like, I was like, I wouldn't have had to sell, have sold. They would have done that in the marketing department, book the appointments. Uh, well, okay, okay. I go out to okay. the appointments. So this isn't just door to door. You would have had an appointment. Yeah. Okay. Correct. That's a little different. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I, uh, when I was, uh, 17, 18, uh, oh, 16. I'd run away from home. I was on the streets. And um, I had uh, found the job in the paper. Um, you guys need to stop chatting on Facebook. You're driving me crazy. You're not talking to me. Don't talk to me. Um, um, and uh, it, it was weird. It was so weird. And I, I was young. I didn't know any better. Um, it was a selling. Uh, it's called s h Chemical Company. It was selling this, this wonderful thing that would clean spots on carpets and all this other stuff. And we'd, we'd be dropped off in a neighborhood. We'd go door to door and we'd try to sell this stuff. And um, the, the, the really bad thing was, again, I was, I was young. Um, and um, um, they supposedly s- kept your money for you in a savings account. 
didn't know any better. Um, so I go in, and of course, there's it's a du- room with two double beds, and there's two people in each bed. So you're now sleeping with a guy that you don't know. How dangerous was this? Um, and so uh, it, it was it was weird. Um, and it, I, 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 I did well. Um, I, I was selling. I was doing okay. And then um, apparently... I had done something, and someone was yelling at me. For, uh, we were in the car, and someone was yelling at me. And, uh, uh, you know, I, and I can't remember what it was. I can't remember what I had said or what I had done. I think I questioned something because it was I think I would asked where our money was or why I can't get my money. Or, apparently, you know, for example, you, you, um, you stayed at the hotel. And on weekends, you, you had, like, Sundays off, and, and uh, uh, they had allotted so much money for food. Um, and if you spent your money, blah, 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 they would, you know, you, you were on your own. Well, the well, guy that was acting as the manager at the time, the, the two, the couple that had run the thing w- went off to do whatever they were doing, probably spend the money. Um, um, the, 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 well, well, we'll go ahead and, and, and comp breakfast. So they fed us, and then, like, these guys came back, and they went crazy. What do you mean? What's and I'm like, wait a minute. Where, where's, wait, you have, I'd sold, like, a lot, and I had, like, a couple hundred back then. It was a, to me, it was a lot of money, a couple hundred dollars coming to me. And, oh, well, this is not the way it works. We do this as a savings for you. And, of course, you know, it, I was never going to see a dime. Um, and, and so, and, I, and, and apparently, we got, the next morning, we got in the car, and I'd asked. I said, does anybody else feel uncomfortable? And, and the head guy, each car had a head guy, you know, like it was kind of a pit boss, you know. Turned around, pulled the car over. If you have a fucking problem, I'm going to get out of this car and kick your fucking ass. And I'm like, Okay. And uh, so I got out and to do, uh, 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 like, they let me off in my area, put the fucking things down, and I walked away. <laughs> I'm like, Good. I'm like, no. And, of course, like, years later, I saw, like, a, some, some TV interview where they'd, they'd, they'd busted a ring of people that did this stuff, and they were talking about how they were, they, they, would, they would beat some of the people, and they'd rape the girls to get them to comply and all this. I'm like, well, I guess Jesus. This. I'm thinking. Well, For vacuums? No, no, that no. That sucks. No. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, no, I guess I guess I was lucky because it could have been you know I was young and I could have been they could have raped you, you know, <laughs> well, uh, you know and I I look back now and I was in a uh, yeah no it was a bad thing it was yeah a bad, right bad thing. so when you said this my image is oh my god he's door to door but it's different when you have an appointment see um, yeah that, that's a cool thing though I mean uh, um I got uniforms that's all I got. <laughs> That's all they gave me was a uniform. Well, that I didn't hear from here, them after here's that. Here's what I'm thinking, though. I'm thinking there's something not right about it. Yeah, I know. And I the reason there's the something not right about it because um, um, W nine uh, form they, I had to fill one out. Well, W that means you're a contractor. Means you're not going to get taxes paid out, and you, you you don't get unemployment and all that other stuff. And that's normal for that kind of a job. But um, 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 but it, it it sounds to me like they had every intention of moving forward, but something forced them not to. And and that's probably why. Yeah, it could have. That's my guess. Um, they I, just texted me and said we don't have any work right now, and I'm like, okay, well, what the heck? So, um, you know, it's after two. Yep. Um, this has been a good show. Yeah, it has. Even though Matt was here, <laughs> uh, you can't you can't keep a good Matt down. You know? True that. He's a good guy. Yeah. Eh, we don't tell him that. Um. All right. Uh. You know, I could keep going, but uh, we should probably call it quits. Um. My name is PJ. Uh, this is uh, JB. JB. Don't get us confused. I know we look alike, but good <laughs> lord, I'm the better looking one. Um. This has been uh, PJ and Friends. We want to thank you for tuning in. Uh, do me a favor. Stop by PJandFriends dot com and like us on Facebook because if you want to know what's going on, that's where to go. If you uh, you know, choose not to or whatever, that's fine. Just uh, visit the website every once in a bit. We do update that. This show, provided the sound is all good, will be up in uh, about an hour, hour and a half, depending on how long it takes to upload. Um, we do want to remind you that PG and Friends has several ways to promote your product, service, club, group, or business. Um, we can do, uh, uh, you can sponsor a segment or a whole show. We get about 50,000 listeners or viewers a week, depending on the video they're looking at. Uh, we can get you heard. We have live reads, 15, 30, and 60 second commercials. We can do shows live on location, provided, of course, you're local. Um, so if you want more information, you can e- email me at pj at pjandfriends.com or you can visit uh, pjandfriends.com there and uh, check it out. All right, guys, uh, you know what? I got to cue the right song, which I should have did a while ago. Hold on. Wow. Well. Uh, there we go. And I want to thank you very much. And then after this, we'll, of course, we'll play the music in rotation. We'll see you next week. Oh, 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 oh. next week. Um, uh, Dave Rosowski, uh, uh, the uh, guru, the uh, Yoda of improv and, and acting and, and all sorts of stuff. The, he does a lot of coaching and stuff like that. He will be on the show. So uh, make sure you tune in next, uh, the 28th 
which is next Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern, and I think it's 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific because he's Pacific. So uh, we will, provided all the uh, uh, the electronics work the way they should, then uh, everything should go well. Other than that, we'll see you then. Uh, this has been PJ. Let me play this. And uh... You're listening to PJ and Friends on PJandFriends.com. Orlando, Florida.